For this video, we will be learning how to utilize our new LMS grading scale and gradebook in our grading system. So the grading scale is all about translating a numeric score into a description or achievement level. Like for example, at A, B, or C, a master level or a step level. And of course, the grading scale only works with assignments that have objective test scores. So these are the reasons why we use grading scale. In the FCPC lingo, the term grading scale will be known as our transmutation table. So in the FCPC, we have here, for example, senior high school transmutation table. You have for a five item test, you get five for 100, 492, 380, followed by the 10 item test. In the new LMS, however, our new LMS grading function is by percentage of scores, which is not the way we compute the grades. For example, we have here our four out of five Instead of 92 in the senior high school transportation table, you get 80. Where did it get 80 in the transportation table? We got the 80 because of the percentage of scores. So 4 divided by 5, you got 0 0.8 multiplied by 100, you got 8%. So that is not how we compute our grades in our FCPC grading system. So, in order for us to configure our grading scale for every class and for every assignment, we go to admin and assignments we have here the admin and then go to assignments so scroll down below and you will see the grading scale feature however uh, we do not use this kind of grading scale the thing is that the grading scale shown here is overall grading scale what we use in our grading scale is up to 100 for example I have here a bit another example So this is what we use in our grading scale in the overall. So this is the grades here at the left side are the grades that will be shown in our card. However, we do not need this uh, overall because the way it computes in our grade book is not by average. Basically, the functionality of the grade book is not set or tailor fit for the FCPC computations. That is why if we go to the grade book, the left side we will notice how the grade book is formatted based on the number of scores and of course if these are graded manually so we do not use the we will not use this overall okay we do not need this overall percentage and this one must be transmuted in a five item test so how can we configure this grading scale and grade book how can we configure the grading scale per assignment? Let's go to the grading scale. And then, let's select a different grading scale. So, what we will use for the subject is education. Because we will be, we will be inputting or inserting all the transmutation system okay, in the education subject. So make it simple po, isang gawaan na lang po ng grading scale per subject per assignment. Hindi na po kayo magkikrate ng grading scale, pipili na lang po kayo ng grading scale, which is under the edu. So just click the checkbox here. Just click the item for the senior high school 10 item because this is a senior high school class and then click submit. A notification will be shown if it is successful. Let's now proceed to the gradebook. Let's now change our design of the gradebook by configuring it here. So just go to the upper right corner and then click the configure. Here you will see the different uh, formats that we can use. What we will change here is the large value and the small value. The large value will be the one to be exported the small value will not be shown in the exported uh, feature. I'll just click here. Grade. And then for the small value, we click score. Meaning the grade is the transmuted grade. It will follow the transmuted grading, uh, grading scale. 
And the small value is the raw score. We do not need the left value summary actually. We do not need this. So we just ignore this. We do not need this percent grade in the summary because we will not use it. Remain this as is. And then click save. After that, all of the objective type okay, will now be will now show transmitted grade. Okay, for a 10 item test. That's how we change the grading scale per assignment. I just want to take note that for every assignment, you must change the grading scale. So when you create your assignments, just go to the grading scale for the subject that will be chosen. For example, for example, let's create a quiz type. So let's choose here, here, senior high school 10 items. So, how about if this thing does not show? So, make sure your lesson, your lesson or your class, the type of subject under the basic tab. Click edit. So, change it to education. So that you can see all of the grading scale. If you do not do this step properly, you cannot see the grading scale for education. So you must change this subject so that all in the uh, subjects can see all the grading scale. Just click save. And then all of the grading scale will now be shown if you change the subject. So that's it for configuring the grading scale and configuring the gradebook. So for this part of the video, we'll now learn how to select and edit the categories that will be used for every assignment in the new element. So then go to admin, assignments, and then scroll down, and then you will see that there are categories or assignment categories shown here. You must click this all and then click edit. You can now edit category names for each category. So, if you're done editing, just click save. If the categories are not enough, just click add. Sample formative assessment. This is for just an example. This is not the updated criteria as of the moment. You don't need this weight using categories. You don't need this weight weighing scheme. We do not need this because we will not be using the entire functionality of the gradebook. I want to clarify that we will only use the gradebook as a record or class record for storage of our grades. So we will not use its computations based on its functionality. So that's it for editing and creating the category for each assignment. In this part of the video, I will include additional knowledge how to bulk edit the assignments. What's the purpose of bulk edit? You can change the dates directly to the assignment tabs. For example, we have here the assignment and then you can select all if you want to edit them all and then click edit. You will now the option to edit the category names based on the, on the assignment and the dates here. So no hassle in clicking all the other assignments. If you're done, just click save. Automatically, it will change the due dates of the assignments. Remember, we're only editing the end dates of these assignments. Now, I would like everyone to take note that as instructed by the administration, we will click not graded for all of our assignments so that we will not use the functionality of the gradebook on how it computes. Why? Because the new LMS computes the grades not in our transmuted grades, rather it computes for the percentages. The transmuted grades are for example, if you get in a four in a five item test, four points, you get 92. That is based in our new element system. However, 
the new LMS will not record it as 92. Rather, it will record as 80, which is 4 divided by 5 is 0.8 times 100, you get 80. So for this part of the video, we will change all of the lessons and assignments to be not graded. Edit at the right side and then choose the grading as not graded. And then click save. After that, it will not compute in the overall grade. So we will ignore the overall grades of the assignments. So that's it everyone. I hope you learned a lot in our new LMS discussion for this video. So if you have any questions or inquiries, feel free to ask me in my messenger account or email me in our new LMS account. Thank you for watching.